hello everyone and very welcome to the channel if you're following my channel for few months you might have noticed that there are few models which i really like mistral's models are one of those models which i prefer to use but there are few things which i always sort of uh, not happy about mistral one of there are two things i would say frankly one was around their api uh, cost there was no free tier available and despite of being it open source and quite a user friendly and open source friendly company it was really a pain in the back to pay from your nose for their api calls so much so that i even stopped using their apis and i just stuck with open ai's api which i believe is still a much better option than mr ai let's be fair now even in terms of cost so but so yeah so that was one of my i would say uh, complaint about mistral that they didn't have any free api tier or their cost was too high second so uh, the good thing is that now they have resolved it now they have a free api tier which i am going to show you in this video among few other things now another thing which i really feel they badly need to improve uh, which is still a huge uh, sort of uh, issue with them is that their uh, public relationing is not good especially when it comes to social media when you try to contact them for some issue or for some questions even on linkedin there are few well known faces um, which are quite active there but they never respond i don't know what is a go with them if you talk to other you know open source companies they fall over each other to help out to at least answer but that is one thing i have found out about mistral and that is the same feedback i have received from various other viewers and subscribers and other people which i uh, have referred to mistral that the public relationship is not really up to the mark and still is the case so i, I hope that mistral being such a fine company when it comes to producing such awesome models which we have covered a lot on our channel i'm more than sure they are going to improve it okay so that ends my whinging for this video let's try to focus on uh, everything positive which is in plenty when it comes to mistral Mistral AI has introduced a free tier and reduced pricing for its language models and that really is good and makes really these models accessible for developers and poor AI YouTubers like me. And another cool thing is that they have released an upgraded model which is a Mistral small which I already covered here on my channel. We installed it in full locally and we played around with it. It was quite a fine model so if you're interested please cite the channel and you should be able to access it. Now coming back to here uh, if you go through their uh, pages you will see that these are the reduced prices across the board which they have where there is a 50 to 80 percent drop which is quite cool i really like it um, i think they could still do better but let's not go there i think this is more than enough but the real good thing which i uh, like is that when you go to their uh, platform which is called as uh, lee chat i guess something like that or lee platform then from here you can uh, create an api plan a free tier one so just click on set up my plan after logging in and of course you would have to sign up first so I, I have signed in and i want to experiment it for free so let's click here it says that by choosing the experiment plan you are agreeing that your anonymized request may be used for research purposes so it means that whatever data you are sending or calling it might be used so th that is up to you let's accept it and then it is asking me to verify my number because i am in australia so let me put in my number and then i will send the verification and verif get myself verified so let me do it please and there you go so i am on the free plan at the moment and from there you can even just access your billing plans page and you can put in some credits if you like now in order to grab the api keys of course you would need an api key from mr also click on the left on api keys and i don't have a key so i will create a key here and then i will mask it also you can create up to 10 apis keys 
and then delete them when you don't need them anymore so i'm just going to or maybe i'll just uh, delete it when i don't use it so i'll just going to say maybe test key here and i will put it on expiry maybe uh tomorrow because it's already thursday here so i'm just going to click on create key let's wait for it so this is my key so i'm just going to copy it i don't think so it is going to be displayed again so i have just copied it in the notepad and that is all we needed from here now let me take you to my google colab and where there we are going to see how to use this mistral api to call the models which are hosted on mistral's website so this is my google colab i am already logged in there you don't need a gpu for this that is a good thing about it the first thing you need to do is to install mistral ai by simply running this pip install mistral ai so let me run it it's quite lightweight so it shouldn't take too long to get installed and the mistral ai is installed as you can see here click on plus code and here we need to paste our api key so let me do it this is just a demo video but in practice if you need to save some keys click on this key icon on google colab and put your key here like i have various other keys already available okay and then you can access it through user data so i have put in my key the model which i'm trying to use from mistral is mistral large latest and this is the api key and then it is asking it what is the best french cheese so i'm just going to change it to what is the best australian cheese and then we are going to print it so let me run it here let's check it out how long does it take it shouldn't take too long it's fairly quick and there you go so we have our australian cheese here the king island dairy black label heidi from this one and all that stuff so you see how easy it is to use um, this mistral AS api in your code and it seems like it is open AS compatible so if you are already using that and if you want to migrate it to uh, mistral ai from open ai code there shouldn't be much changes happening there similarly if you want to check out mistral's embedding model you can do something like this so this is the model we are getting and then you can use this model to check the similarity between these two sentences let's wait for it to get run there you go so this is id and then this is the similarity score that how similar or different these two sentences are after converting them to the tokens and similarly you can even use a vision model and the vision model is this pixel 12 billion i already have covered it on the channel so if you go to my channel and then maybe just search with pixel there you go so i have covered it in detail in two videos so make if you're interested please check it out and you can use it through the api call so just specify the model and then your text prompt and your image you can use a local image if you like in the colab or wherever so let me run it and this is the image by the way the eiffel tower in winter so let's go back there you go so it says the image depicts a serene winter scene with the eiffel tower prominently visible in the background and then it is giving us more detail how good is that the model is quite good pixel no doubt about that but you can see that text vision and all this stuff you can use this api quite easily plus not only that you can do a lot of other things with it you can do function calling you can do json mode you can do some card drilling you can even do fine tuning you can even build some of the agentic software with it so i can't cover everything in this video but i'm going to make separate videos just focused on function calling or retrieval augmented generation with the help of this api since now we have this free api credits i'm not exactly sure when i go to these plans to check how much api credits i have i tried to check but i couldn't find so if you know this or if you tend to find how much credits are there what are the daily limits let me know in the comments that will be awesome uh, but one thing is for sure that if you are uh, using their paid plan there will be higher rate limits there will be still be limits by the way and data stays private they don't use it for training and research 
and i don't think so you can fine tune in the free one yeah but you can definitely create and deploy the agents with it which i will cover in the uh, another video so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think really good stuff by mr all highly appreciated if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching